the idea the concept of ahimsa was introduced to me much later but uh, there were occasions of uh, its experience that uh, comes across uh, every life in my life too uh, i mean uh, i say this uh, because i read later on uh, from gandhi that uh, uh, human beings are essentially non violent so much of our experience must have been non violent uh, when i read gandhi later on i found that uh, uh, ahimsa unfolds from the truth the truth is the the truth realization is that uh, uh, we recognize everything as part of the truth uh, uh, in the in the behavioral sense we say we have to love each other we have to be uh, compassionate or we have to uh, be empathetic uh, that will all happen only when we recognize the primacy of the other person the uh, classical example is the mother's mo- motherliness the ma ki mamta ma ki mamta is the uh, highest expression of ahimsa but that happens only in the context of the child the mother when comes out of the house to the street she is just an ordinary woman where does that mamta go it it hasn't gone anywhere but uh, it, it doesn't get uh, the context to uh, come out with the child she thinks that uh, uh, they are integral so recognizing the primacy of the person that is the truth gandhi and nonviolence calls for a holistic understanding you know gandhi was a strong believer of non dualism uh, uh, advaitam he said i am an advaitam uh, uh, proponent and uh, i believe in advaitam uh, there is uh, all encompassing oneness it is a it is a, a profound realization uh, if we Uh, today try to understand it uh, in the logical empirical uh, pragmatic sense uh, we have lot of scientific uh, evidences to prove that there is an all encompassing oneness our uh, we are both the uh, individual which is a entity and uh, a, a very distinct reality uh, are also a Uh, society uh, ecosystem at the same time which is another uh, concrete reality so we are in multiple reality uh, situation uh, uh, we are not unable to com- complement these multiple realities at the same time either we are individual or we are society or we are ecosystem in compartments and that is the uh, challenge uh, that uh, non dualism helps us Uh, uh look at uh, the harmony between people uh, or peace in the society in a different uh, way uh, in a different way uh, uh, if we want to have a harmony among diversity we need to get into uh, a, a dialogic mode uh, and the dialogic mode is not uh, yet a tool but a attitude we cannot say that uh, uh, non dualism is a primary condition for peace we cannot say that uh, in dualism also uh, there is a scope for salvation or co- communal peace there is but then uh, when i think uh, uh, i for myself then i have to know how i can be uh, the best myself ah at least i have to go there i cannot be uh, complacent about everything mediocre or about everything and uh, uh, lose uh, the uh, opportunity to exercise my reason uh, i should not do that a, a human being uh, is a intelligent being uh, uh, potentially and uh, that calls us for uh, Uh, exercising our reason towards betterment interpersonal uh, will for peace 
is evident but uh, there is a lacking of collective will yeah uh, a concrete love abstract hatred uh, is evident that the time and context calls for reperceiving ourselves uh, in fact uh, thinking like mother india is also not sufficient in the context of nation it is okay but uh, we have to think like ecosystem i am ecosystem uh, uh, when i eat when i drink i drink as individual i eat as an individual i sleep as an individual but uh, how do i perceive that act should be uh, from the perspective of a ecosystem i should think like an ecosystem and act as an individual now we have to recognize the goodness of the other person and then say what is the limitation if we say the person has lot of limitation so the person is wrong then we lose the opportunity to build a, a larger uh, community